What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another video. So I wanted to touch base on where to get jailbreak utilities, the methods and what you can do to keep them signed so that they never get revoked and you can always forever jailbreak your device. For those of you that have updated from iOS 13, you might find this to be very useful. Um, I'm gonna try and basically pack all of the information I can into one video um, and it should hopefully be very useful for you guys. So I'm gonna mention um, a few different methods as far as installing the jailbreak utilities. Um, I'll start with a paid developer account. So if you have a paid developer account and you will know if you do because you have to go to, um, I believe it's developer.apple.com and it costs $100 per year to have a paid developer account. If you have one of those like I do, uh, you can use Cydia Impactor to install IPAs. To me, that's the most, the, the easiest way to install uh, an app because literally I just open up Impactor on my Mac, drop the IPA on and it just lands in my phone. That's it, I'm done. Uh, app is signed for one year. So to me, that's the easiest method for those of you that will have a paid developer account. If you don't have a paid developer account, but you also have a computer, you can use Alt Store. I think Alt Store is uh, very functional and it works very nicely as you can see here. And even with the newer jailbreak utilities, uh, when you go to their websites, they have direct um, install buttons to open them in Alt Store. Uh, so you can, you can use Alt Store and then you can install Alt Daemon after you have installed Alt Store and Alt Daemon will allow you uh, to, to re-sign without your computer being on. So it basically makes it so there's no computer tied anymore. Uh, like I said, it's called Alt Daemon, as you guys can see right there. So if you do the Alt Store method, install Alt Daemon after you have Alt Store installed, and then you will no longer have to have your computer on in order to re-sign applications. Super useful. Now, for those of you that don't have a computer. I'm gonna show you guys the no computer method as well. Uh, now, we're gonna be doing uh, it through the website here, jailbreaks.app. And I will leave the link for this in the description. Um, it's super simple. I absolutely love this website for just having jailbreaks and nothing else. So big shout to Geo Snow. I discovered uh, this through his video. So big shout to him. This, this uh, is really, really nice. Now, one thing I like to do is I like to click on the share button there and I like to add it to my home screen. I'll leave it as jailbreaks. That way I have an app for the website. If I wanna check to see if jail, the jailbreaks are being signed currently, the light will be green. And if they're not signed, it would be, I'm not sure, I haven't seen it unsigned. I'm assuming red maybe. But if it's not green, it's unsigned basically. But this uh, website allows you to just download jailbreak applications or jailbreak utilities directly from them. Super useful, but keep keep in mind they will get revoked. So if you guys come in here and you can't download them because they're revoked, you have to wait for them to be re-signed, which is pretty random when it happens and it's pretty random when they're revoked. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just go ahead and install Uncover. You can see we get a pop-up here, so I'll just click on install. I'm gonna just dismiss this and then we'll exit. And as you can see, Uncover is now installing. So depending on your internet speed, just wait for that to finish installing. And as you guys will see, we can't launch it because it's an untrusted developer. So now what you need to do is go into settings and we will go into general and we will go down to profiles and device management. We will go to this enterprise app here. It might have a different name in the future. Just open it and you guys will see whatever jailbreak you installed there. Go ahead and click on trust, trust again. And now we can launch the jailbreak. So this is great and everything, but when the certificate gets revoked, you will no longer be able to open the application and it will get revoked at a random time. Um, and it's guaranteed to get revoked just with uh, what Apple is doing nowadays. So I'm gonna show you guys how to prevent that. If you guys don't have a computer, you're not using Impactor, you're not using Alt Store. This is how you can prevent this application from getting revoked. So we're gonna go into Cydia here and we're just going to search for Reprovision Reborn right here, this package, this application essentially. It is from the Packix repo. I'll leave the repo listed in the description as well. So what you do is just click on modify, click on install and confirm it. And it will go ahead and install it. And then we will have to perform a respring on our device here, just like so wait for it to respring, super fast respring. 
and now we have the application right there. Now, when you first launch this, you will have to sign in with your Apple ID. It's 100% safe. All it uses your Apple ID for is to, to use it to sign the application. Um, and as you guys can see here, I have all of the apps listed that I have downloaded or installed manually. I could, I could re-sign Taurine or Uncover with Reprovision um, or the newest one, which I just downloaded from jailbreaks.app. As you guys can see, I can sign that application uh, and this will auto sign it before it revokes, which means it'll keep your uncovered jailbreak uh, working, um, you know, forever, basically, as long as you allow it to re-sign every like six days, because after one week it will get revoked automatically. But like I said, this app will prevent it from happening. So uh, like I said, I just wanted to touch base on all of the different kind of methods you can use to install jailbreak utilities on iOS 14. Uh, hopefully you guys found this video useful. If you did, smash the like button. Also, like I said, I will leave uh, links in the description uh, if you guys want to try out different methods like Alt Store with Alt Daemon or you want to try Cydia Impactor, uh, whatever it might be, there will be video links in the description, so be sure to check that out if you guys want to try different methods in which you can re-sign jailbreaks and install them. Uh, but I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.